Hey, what's up YouTube? Steve Potts here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to show you guys a little something I found on YouTube. Now, I'm, admittedly, I'm not very good at noticing new features on YouTube. Um, it is where I put all my videos. I, I really, I can't really explain it. But anyway, I was um, far assing around on YouTube the other day and I discovered a new button and I was like, what the hell is this thing, right? Hovering over it, it says end screen and annotation. So I did a bit of digging around on YouTube, obviously, and finding out what the hell this is. And it turns out that YouTube now actually provides us about a 20 second end screen. Um, and on that, you can put annotations. Now, a lot of you are making your own end screens and adding annotations onto that anyway. So you're probably thinking to yourself, well, what the hell, YouTube? What's the big deal, right? See, the big deal is smartphones and tablets. Because you see, previously, if you put an annotation on a video, you know, those ones we make ourselves, right, at the end of the video with the, with the actual thumbnails on it, right, YouTube couldn't actually allow people for some reason or the other to click on those annotations from smartphones and tablets. And now with the new end screen function, they can. So I don't know what changed or how things went about it, but I'll show you guys what it actually looks like on a previous video of mine and I'll show you a little problem here. See, here's the actual video. So if I play the video and I watch this. I suppose this video is a bit quite long enough right now. Wait for it. So you guys have Wait for it. See exactly what I've just done to you. Or do you have any problems using that or you don't exactly know how to use it properly on YouTube so that your your page or your um part Ah, there it is. See over here we have a thumbnail another thumbnail and in the, middle, in the middle here we have a subscription button. See now this is the end screen. But if you look at the rest of my video, it's not optimized to take advantage of this because obviously at the time of making this video, I didn't know about this end screen and annotation feature in YouTube. But now that I do, what I wanna do is I wanna take advantage of this and I actually wanna make my videos so that every time I complete a video and edit the video, I wanna add on a section in the back It'll take full advantage of this actual end screen and annotation feature on YouTube. Because as you see, right the way it is right now, it doesn't really work for me so well. Huh? Uh, not, not quite, uh, because the, the video is still going and now up pops these things. So, man, my, my chair is as creaky as anything. But anyway. So I was wondering to myself, well, how the hell am I going to do this? And the problem is that I want to be able to create animated text that goes on my video and I want to have a nice background that prepares it so that when this annotation uh, end screen thing pops up, it looks really nice for the actual viewer, right? I want to make a proper end screen. So um, how do I get this done? Because what I need to do is I need to get the spacing correct and I need to get the timing correct. So I went and dug around a little bit here. And actually, if you go look over here, if you click on the button, we'll have this thing load up over here for us. You'll see that you can actually use templates, okay? Now, I like templates because it standardizes everything. And when things are standardized, it's easier to work with. So I picked this template over here. We'll select this one. It's going to say, yeah, yeah, replace whatever. Okay, so this means that if I use a template and then I import, see there's another feature here, import from video, that I can basically import the exact same end screen and annotations on YouTube from video to video. And therefore I will be able to just make one end screen that I add into the, every one of my videos when I edit, right? And then the whole thing will go smoothly, right? Well, according to plan, right? Okay, so now, how do I do this? I mean, do I make a template of where these things pop up and when they pop up? No, I couldn't know. I was thinking about this for a little while and then it suddenly actually dawned on me that I have the tools available. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to play my video. I'm gonna put these end screens and annotations up so the thumbnails pop up and I'm gonna capture that with Camtasia. I'm actually gonna do a screencast video. I'm gonna capture it. Then I'm gonna take the edit of that and cut it and to get it to fit to my screen, uh, obviously my uh, 1080p, uh, my video editor playback screen, right? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use it as a template. I'm gonna add a back 
back um, a backdrop into it or a background image and I'm going to animate some text that comes in and just helps the viewer explain a little bit better about what these things are on the screen okay so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to get back to you guys again uh, when we're in Camtasia alrighty so you're me in my creaky chair we're back on Camtasia right and so what I did is I took the video clip if I'll just uh, show you what that looks like on the screen over here you see there's my video uh, that I recorded a screencast of and there's the actual pop-up see right there so this is going to give me a good idea of exactly where these things are and so what I'm going to do now right I'm going to go over here let's just step back a couple of frames until I see where they pop up see they pop up right over here they fade in and once they're faded in over there right, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add an annotation I'll go to annotations over here I'm going to go to text I'm going to add the text in over there I'm going to drag it towards the end of that actual clip because if I play that through for the entire duration of that end screen part that YouTube is not providing us, right? I want that text to be obviously visible towards the very end over there. Very good. Screen goes black. And um, for some reason or the other, Camtasia just jumped to the very beginning when I'm not quite done. Not sure why Camtasia does that. All right, let's go back here again. All right, so the annotation comes in there. Images pop up annotation comes in same time so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put this over here center screen okay I'm going to put that just above the actual subscription button over there I'm going to double click on that I'm just going to put subscribe I'm going to put that in white okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the annotation in again same deal drop it in the end over there I'm going to move the playhead so I can actually line that up I can offer this for this annotation what I want to do over there now is actually I want to go over here on the bottom and see uh, this is where the playlist comes in all right um, Yeah, see that's a playlist over there. See it says the number of videos, right? So just underneath that over there. Oh, should I try and spell all right first, I guess. I'm just gonna say playlist. What I'm gonna do here is Got to click out of it, then click back in it to be able to position it. So I'm just going to sort of center it to where that's going to be more or less. Okay. And what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to copy this. Paste right over there. Just line them up. Right, because I'm going to take this. I'm going to go on this side. Okay. And double click on that one and say you might like. might like this now you'll see that a little issue uh, pops up here when you put annotations or text in the font isn't always exactly the same in each of the boxes so what you actually need to do here is you need to drag this out okay then um, sort of center this a little bit and what I need to do is I need to get this font here to actually fit sort of a little better with the actual thing right so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to go over here to size font and I'm going to drag this down I'm going to select uh, to go all the way to the left you might like this it looks a little better right 
And now I'm going to look at the actual font size here. See, it says font size 84, right? So let's go over here. See, this one says font size 96. So what I need to do is I need to make this font size the same size. Okay, so we do that. And we drag this, put that all the way to the left, where it starts with that. The nice thing here, Camtasia actually helps us line that stuff up. We go over here, click on subscribe, and look at the font size over there. It's not quite right. So what we need to do is make the box a little bigger, and then make the font a little bigger there. To drag it, so it says 44, there we go. And then of course it helps us line up there again, right? All right. So now we have three texts over here. Okay, uh, their fonts have been standardized. Okay, and what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to take this out because see I know that at this point that's how long the actual video needs to be, right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this part out and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to media and I'm going to go to the library and I'm going to pick animated backgrounds. Let's open that up. Um, flying boxes, flying paper, mountain, rainbow waves. I don't know what that is. Let's go have a look. Ah, okay, that looks pretty good. Okay. And the rainbow waves, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to make it the same. Yeah. For some reason it won't. It won't make it the same. Ah, it's the same distance as the text, which is pretty good. Let's just uh, play this thing again quickly. That's where it starts. Up pops the, the boxes, obviously, and then it says you might like this and playlist. Okay. So that's not bad. Okay, so now if I actually create this uh, video clip over here, okay, and then create a item, what I can do here is I can highlight this, and of course what you can do is you can actually add more text. Uh, you could say at the top here, thank you for watching, something like that, right? You can have arrows pop in and all kinds of stuff like that. I just wanted the, the text to come in here, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to um, Transitions, right, and um, slide uh, right, spiral, I don't know what that is, let's have a look, okay, so that's that, cube rotate, let's do a cube rotate, okay, we'll go over there, cube rotate, all those bad boys over there, okay, let's see what that looks like. That was just a cute way to animate the actual text. I have no idea what this is going to look like. You're going to find out with me here. Ah, okay. So the actual text and everything cube rotated in at the same time. I, I kind of like the way that looks. I'm going to keep that. Okay. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this out. Delete that now. Okay. And I'm going to basically say, okay. Highlight this all together over there. I'm going to right click on it. It says over here, um, we group that. Okay. Right click on the group and I'm going to add it to my library and give it a name. Now, if you look at my library over here, let's go to media, library, you'll see a YouTube end screen. I already did mine. Okay. So now, if I do this, right, every time I make a video in Camtasia, all I need to do is go to library and then click from here, right, and then take my YouTube end screen over there, pop it in there, and then it will be ready for me, right? See that? It's going to work. So this is the one I made now with you guys. Showed you how I actually got to this. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, I, I like this uh, feature over here. So then if I add this to each one of my videos at the end, uh, right, uh, it's going to be able to allow me to go to uh, end screens and annotations on YouTube 
and simply import my my uh, end screen from a previous video and then every one of my videos is going to have this cool feature added to it at the end now at any point here if you don't understand what I just did or how I did any or why I did any of this okay please man get in the comments and ask okay you'll see on my videos people ask me questions and I respond if it's a reasonable question if it's not something silly like how to hack Camtasia to crack it or something like that right there's something reasonable and I will find an answer for you okay so this is just uh, me forasting around with things on YouTube but I am actually going to be doing this I'm going to be using all of these features so in future, you're actually going to see uh, this exact same thing at the end of my videos. What you see here, I just created. This is actually what I'm going to use. All right, guys, again, and if you have questions, ask. Now, if you like this video, thumbs up. You know what to do, right? Come on now. And if you don't, well, then thumbs down. I believe even a thumbs down helps my, uh, my readership, my well, viewership. I don't know how, but it does. And um, if you haven't subscribed yet, do, okay, specifically if you are into Camtasia or video editing or creating videos on a low budget, because that is kind of my thing, okay, and then subscribe and you'll get more videos, okay. I am actually purchasing a couple of video gear thingies, so you're going to see a couple of reviews come up for microphones and things like that. Um, it is Christmas and usually this time of the year I do get video gear for, for birthday presents, because my birthday is in November. And also in December, Christmas, right? I get Christmas presents. Uh, they usually consist of uh, video making gear or software and stuff like that. So um, we'll be talking about some of those things that I got um, and uh, get through that, okay? But um, this is me rambling now. So if you've already tuned out, I'm sad about that. If you haven't, thank you. Cool beans. Steve out, man. See you guys in the next video.